Okay, what's up YouTube? It is Boiler Girl and um, today I wanted to do a review on today's Black Woman Style Report. Oh, there we go. And um, I decided to pick this up because, you know, I did my or my intro video on being a regular plain Jane and was trying to kind of, I guess, recapture some of my sense of style that I've believe I used to have a long time ago so I said all right let me see what's trendy in today's you know black woman closet and came across this magazine I paid $5.99 for it and let me just say that my review on this magazine certainly a, a thumbs down reason being one it has all kinds of great fashions and stuff that's that's all nice and dandy and all but the average black woman makes an average household income of like 40 maybe less than forty thousand dollars i mean check it out go on blackdemographics.com you'll see the true figures there we don't make this type of money number one secondly while it has some nice stuff in here okay there is no way in hell if we even had this type of money that we would want to spend what is this six hundred and forty six dollars on this RA sparkle shower turtleneck a turtleneck for six hundred and forty six dollars really pretty but not that pretty I'm sorry when you got kids like me or anybody else you shouldn't be buying no damn six hundred and forty six dollar uh, farfetch.com yeah check out the website they got a lot of expensive shit on there you know turtleneck and if you are should be ashamed of your damn self do not take your tax money and go buy anything that they have here find some type of I don't know alternative you know some type of knockoff somewhere that maybe look like it and add some sparkles your damn self because that's just ridiculous honestly black woman style report should really fire their editors fire the people who it is putting stuff in here for the simple fact that this does, does not represent the average black woman okay in America or any country for that matter um, this is just aren't ridiculous I think the only people who could afford to shit in here is Nini and yes she looks all fabulous and stuff you know but only she can afford the stuff that they have in this magazine now I must say that there are some you know, little pluses they did do a spread on JC Penny and I absolutely love JC Penny stuff. So you'll see prices like 25 and and it's I not quite the middle section but they did do a little spread on it which is all great and all. Uh, but that's it as far as where uh, us working poor people go. And um, if you check out some of the hair options that they have in there, some of the websites even have really expensive hair. It's ridiculous. Um, but for the most part, I do say that they should really consider who the average black woman is. If you're going to say today is black woman style report, because I think it's just contributing to, you know, us being even more poor than we already are. Um check out these shoes right here and these really ugh, I don't know it's ugly to me or maybe I'm just a plain Jane but I don't know either way I'm not paying eight hundred eighty five dollars yeah for those shoes some of them are cute they do have some cute alternatives but still not for the average black woman so in conclusion today's black woman style report really 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 in today's economy really think hard about who your black audience is uh, will I ever buy this magazine again? No, I'm just going to stick to Essence Magazine. I love Essence Magazine, even though they got some expensive shit in there, too. But um, this all around, if you're going to say, you know, hey, you know, look at the style that's going on today. 
Uh, please buy what we have in here. At least let it be some reasonably priced shit. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. And give me your thoughts on Black Woman's Style Report.